Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing a sandwich from our history, specifically Eric Anderton, who said that his mom used to make this for him every day before school, and he also says that that's probably why he was very overweight as a kid. Let's make the waffle sandwich. First thing we need to do is start to toast some Eggo waffles. Now we slather each one with lots of mayonnaise, getting into the crevices, and that's his instructions, lots of mayonnaise, and a slice of American processed cheese on each, then four slices of turkey, four slices of ham. Then back into a crisp up and get the cheese melted. Okay, let's give this waffle sandwich a go. It tastes fine. The waffles are sweet. The mayonnaise is warm, which I don't really hate. Think of it as a sauce. And the ham and the uh, turkey are good. I do want to try and plus this up two ways though. On one, I'm going to put some buttermilk ranch dressing that I made from a powder. And the other, some habanero infused maple syrup. Okay, let's give this waffle sandwich plussed up with buttermilk ranch dressing a go. It works. It's ridiculous, but it works. You got all the flavors of ranch dressing, the tang of buttermilk, and it goes pretty well with the sweet waffle and the ham and the turkey and the cheese. Okay, let's give this waffle sandwich uh, plussed up with the habanero infused maple syrup a go. Mmm. Mmm. It's spicy. It's sweet. It's like really giving kind of like brunch vibes here. Well, Eric, you were not wrong. Eating one of those every day would definitely make you overweight. Um, it was tasty. You know, the Eggo waffles are a little too sweet for my taste, typically. Uh, the ham and the turkey are nice. The processed American cheese, I wish it was just regular deli American cheese or even cheddar cheese. Um, so there's the makings of a good sandwich here. If you use good waffles, good cheese. I would say that the original waffle sandwich probably was a good solid five and a half. Um, plus up with the buttermilk ranch, six. Plus up with the habanero uh, spiced maple syrup. I'm gonna have to say that's like a seven and a half. That is like a brunch sandwich now. And I am gonna finish it. I'm gonna take my time though. I'm not gonna eat this all at once because that's a load of calories. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow.